Hello and welcome. Um, this is not going to be the conventional video about the, the mod I'm working on. Um, I've probably spent the last couple of days um, just trying to change the color of a spell, and it it takes quite amount, quite a good amount of effort, a lot more than I thought, and a lot of it is very in depth and very different for different spells. And it was very difficult for someone who's been using the kit for a while, uh, a while in terms of like I'd say about eight, seven, eight months. Um, so it's definitely, it seems easy to begin or something they want to do, and it may put someone off the creation kit. So I wanted to make an updated video, or I don't know if I, I haven't, I haven't seen one uh, that goes super in depth. So I wanted to make a little more in depth recent video about how to change the color of a spell. Um, for this one, this is just the basic flame spell that I have up on the screen. Um, right here, I, I'm just having it use uh, two of the same um, effects. All right, I guess I'll start with, okay, so what you would want to do is, uh, for instance, so... If I was using flames, get the flame spell. Um, you'll make a, you can edit it, do whatever you want to it. Um, and it'll ask you if you want to uh, make a duplicate file. Uh, you'll say yes, you don't want to edit the base one, or you'll just make a duplicate off the get-go and do that. So we'll open up the spell and I'll explain what everything is. So here you have the two effects. Um, this is, I believe, is the um, the fear that makes them run away um, when they get caught on fire. So that's not too big of a deal. Um, they, that you don't really need to, worry, need to worry too much about that if you leave it on. Um, it doesn't actually leave a visual effect. So if we take a look at this flames, um, it has this effect on it. Effects are what actually make the spells do things besides cost mana. And the actual, besides the mana and the damage. So over in your object window, you see spell. Go over to magic effect. Um, what was that again? Uh, fire damage conch aimed. Fire damage. Conk. Aimed. So there we go. Um, you'll see some different ones. The cloak, that's obviously for the cloak spell. The other ones we don't care about. So we'll open that up real quick. Here, there's a lot of different stuff in here. Um, a lot of this you don't have to worry about. Let's leave it the same. Um, concentration means you hold it. Aimed means you're aiming it. It's not going on a specific thing. I believe I've never changed that. Magic skill, it's pretty self-explanatory. All this other stuff you don't really need to worry about. I've never done anything with it. All this stuff is going to need to be changed. Um, I'm not going to show you exactly how to change everything. A lot of it, it's not super self-explanatory, but if you just go through the kit, go find these files in, um, if you don't know the way you get these files, the Helms projectile, like for instance, we'll do the projectile. We'll go down here. It's all in here somewhere. Click on this. See down here in special effects. I have it expanded. Special effects, projectile. And then for this, you would type in flames projectile click on that and then it's going to have a nif in there um that nif if i remember correctly um i'll just show it to you in a second and then a light uh which actually has been used never mind projectile type flame that can be left the same and then the light you'd also so this art file right here controls the projectile the light um controls like the actual uh light it gives off like into your hand and things around you so let's see if I can open that up, that NIF up real quick. Um, let me pull this over here. We're going to go, uh, I put a fresh uh, meshes file. Uh, if you don't know how, use the um, lookup BAE extractor. Uh, you can find it on the Nexus, I believe. You'll open that up. You just got to find your uh, meshes and sh meshes, shaders, textures, all that stuff files. Um, it'll be in your, uh, wherever Skyrim's installed in the common data folder. So meshes, meshes. Um, you'll want to find that same path, so it's going to be in Magic Fire Spray. So here we see Magic. Look up F, or was it up first? Yeah, Fire Spray FX. Fire. Fire Spray FX. We'll open that up. It's going to open up a NIFScope. Um, I'm using 2.0 something. Yeah, 2.0 Dev 7. Um, that's the newest version. It's worked fine with everything. All the other one, other ones, they work fine. They're just not as uh, beginner friendly. Uh, a lot of the textures, they, they, it just doesn't look as good. So here we see um, a lot of it doesn't won't really have a lot of meaning at first. Probably won't understand it. Um, a lot of these you don't really have to. Uh, so really, I'm just going to show you what you need to look at and try to give you the clues to uh, the or the the tools to be able to find the things you need to change yourself because it's not going to be the same for every single different uh, part of the spell. 
So what we're looking for in here, so yeah, and what you'll end up doing is just going through everything because every there's there's so many textures that need to be changed. Um, you'll end up going through everything, and generally what you're going to be looking for are these BS effect shader properties. So if you look right here, grayscale texture, it'll be in the same place you found this uh, NIF, but instead of meshes, you'll go into textures, effects, gradients, and then it'll be, double click on there, grad fire cloak 01.dds. What you'll do then is you will then open that up in a program like uh, GIMP is what I use. GIMP, and then for me, I convert it to a uh, Photoshop file and open it up. I actually have a good amount of them open up here. These are, that's my cat. Um, trying to find a good example. So it would look like this, but uh, orange and blue. All you would do is in Photoshop, I use the color replacement tool in GIMP or whatever program you use. Do whatever you need to. Um, the main thing I want to show you while you're in GIMP, take a second to load. So I'll see if I can open one up real quick. Do I have open recent? Yep. Cool. Uh, you can load min maps if you want to. You'll pull it back in. Um, so say for instance we just edited it. So we'll do file, and then we're going to do export as. Select file type by extension, DDS image, which is the image uh, file type that uh, Creation Kit uses. Export. Um, I'll just name it something uh, real quick. Video tut. We'll do export DDS. So this is important then. Um, compression none. Um, I was in a thread. I'll show you that thread. It says to use the alpha exponent. Um, when you do that, it exports it. Um, GIMP allows uh, the alpha to be completely black, and it reads that as the alpha. But Creation Kit does not like that for some reason. And even though it'll just end up making the texture a big square, which is what it is. Just um, you're not supposed to be able to see, be able to see most of it. And then you'll generate MIP maps. Uh, you'll want to delete those old MIP maps down there if you didn't edit those, which you shouldn't be doing because it's a waste of time. You can, you can just generate them here. And then you would click OK. I put them. It'll put that in there. And then obviously you'll want to put it over. You'll pull it from um, wherever you were editing it, wherever you ended up putting it. For me, I put it in a new textures file or a yeah, new textures file. And then I pull it over into um, Skyrim data. And then you want to put it exactly where you found it. So what I mean by that is, uh, for instance, if you got that fire one, I believe it was in meshes or Skyrim data meshes, and then it was in um, MPS, if I remember correctly. It just needs to go in the type of it was it needs to go in the folder that it was in before. The folder will not be there, so you'll just have to make it. So the meshes folder will be there. You'll click into meshes. There should be nothing. You'll click new. And then try to name it um, with the same capitalization and everything. This isn't camel script. I don't think it, it's okay with that. Name it the same way as you saw it in there. Click in there. And then you, you drag it in. And then what you'll have to do is go back to NIFScope. There's one we were working with. And just manually type in. This should be this, th this structure should be the same then. You'll leave this the same. Or you'll have made those folders. And then you'll type in your new name. And click enter. And it'll be okay with that. Um... Emissive color won't matter except for a couple things. So if you go into tri shape data, um, some for, so for some parts of uh, for some NIFs parts of the spell, these colors will be the color of the actual spell. So for instance, for the flame spell, some of them were orange. So you'll have to go through and manually change all these to whatever color you're using. Mine was purple, for instance. And then you'll do the same thing. So here's another effect shader. It's that. Yeah, you'll have to go find this folder, pull it into uh, GIMP, edit it how you like in Photoshop, whatever. Do exactly what we did before. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about is, um, so I'll show you this thread. So this thread was showing people um, what to do. Somebody made a quick, they said a quick thing to do. Um, this was important. I didn't think much of this when I saw it. So what's going to happen is... Um, some part, some things are going to have textures that you don't know where they're coming from. You know that you changed all the textures where they need to be, all the emissive colors and all that stuff, but for some reason it's still not changing. There's still parts of the flame spell that are orange. And uh, what the problem is, I'll see if I can find one of those nodes in here. Um, okay, so here's one. So it's a BS value node, and it's an add-on node. And if you look right there, the value is 34. That's important. So what you'll do is remember that value, 34. 
and what you're I know this is all a bit overwhelming, but if you watch it a couple times and just makes yourself familiar with the parts of the creation kit we're using, it'll start to make sense. So remember that 34 number. So what we're looking for is special effect add-on node. So we're gonna do no filters. I have some couple new ones in there I mean by myself. Um, so if you look here, I have the indexes numbered um, by num in numerical order. So we're gonna find 34. Number 34 is MPS Flames Fire. That's another texture. Uh, it's not inherently easy to see, but once you do digging, you'll find stuff like that. So I'll show you where to look for that. Um, so we'll go to our fresh mesh folder, meshes, MPS, and then this is where we're looking for. We'll do um, MPSF, so Flames Fire. We're going to open this up because there's one other thing I believe I want to show you. I hope, I'm hoping it's in this one. So you won't be able to preview it or anything. Um, and some of these will have, so yeah. So here you'll see this has their own. I believe this is the one we used before. So for some of these, you'll end up just reusing textures. So it's very, almost very little work. So the one thing I wanted to talk about is this one here that says lighting influence. Um, when, once I changed all these textures, um, at least in the flames effect, there's a smoke effect. Um, and that smoke effect was still giving me a, an orange tint. When I went in and changed all the lighting influences to zero, that orange effect went away, and all I got was the purple I was looking for. So you'll go through here, you'll find BS effect shaders, change those. I'll see if this one has the emissive color. I don't believe it does. These should these are all just particle systems, so these shouldn't have any... Uh, look in here, this should have... Yep, there's an effect shader property. Grad flame, so that would be another one you could reuse. Um, so I'm going to see if I can find that one where the color needs to be changed. I'm not seeing it. So what you would be looking for is for a one where the color needs to be changed. Generally, so you'll click on it. I don't remember off the top of my head what the name is. But if you'll, you'll go into this block details area, one of the things will be it'll say UV something. It'll have a drop down box like this. And you'll click on it and it'll show all the colors. And there's, I think there were about 30 or so. And you'll have to change those all to the color you want. I believe, let me open up the smoke one. It may have been that one. Uh, flame smoke all one. Let's look here. So here, this would be an emissive color where you would want to change it to whatever color you're using. Um, And as you can see, I'm not even too familiar with um, where I'm looking. It's all just it's all just been learn as I go. Hmm. Well, I won't waste any more time. Um, let's double check in here. Another effect shader one. So you'd want to change that here. This doesn't have a texture, so you would just want to change the emissive color. I believe the smoke one is where uh, I ended up finding the UV things that needed to be changed. But like I said, you'll be looking in here. It'll say UV, and you can drop down. You'll have a ton of colors. you have to change all those. And then also in here, sometimes you'll find more of those um, add-on nodes. So it's just trees and trees of add-on nodes. Uh, I don't see any in here. But and then eventually you'll end up at the bottom of the tree. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else that's important. Um, and then, like I said, um, I haven't gone exactly in depth for every part, like impact data sets. Um, I don't believe that was changing the color too much for me. Um, what that ends up doing is it changes. Um, I'll just explain each of, what each of the categories is, what they are, at least the ones I've used. Um, impact data set is um, when you shoot the spell, for instance, um, Firebolt, when it lands on the ground and it makes a little poof. Um, the impact data set decides, um, depending on what it's hitting, what texture it uses, and um, how long of an effect it plays. Projectile is pretty self-explanatory. It's the actual, actual projectile you're, you're shooting out. Um, the shader, I don't quite remember what that does, but I believe it, af it affects um, the in-between from your hand to the uh, where you're hitting. Casting light is what goes on your hand. And then casting art is um, what's in your hand, like the ball that's in your hand. Menu display object you can generally ignore in here because that is uh, usually changed when you're in the actual spell here, not in the effect. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else important. Uh, 
There's not anything else I can quite remember. Like I said, I didn't explain everything. Um, you'll just end up having to uh, search for yourself and just find every nook and cranny. But hopefully this is a better explanation for uh, people that are newer to the creation kit who are trying to learn it in uh, 2019 or further on. Um, again, I'm going to pull up that thread. The topic is uh, changing colors on spell effects. It's on the Nexus forums. Um, that's going to be it. I'm going to be posting more Skyrim Infinity War stuff soon. Uh, I'll actually show the spell I changed the color of real quick. I'm already at 15 minutes. May as well make it longer. I'm going to be cutting this part out. All right, now we're in. Okay. So uh, this also helps too. If you're looking for a spell or something you put in, um, just type in help and then um, a part of the name of the uh, whatever I, whatever you're looking for. So I'm looking for a power stone ability. Just that second from the top one. So we're going to do a player dot add spell 0400FA1C. That's it. And then we're going to put god mode on because uh, it takes a lot of mana. mana. So there it is. I changed the um, menu icon. It's just a purple shout. I didn't feel like changing more textures. Here you can see that casting light's purple. My hand effects are purple. Comes out are purple. Comes out is purple, sorry. And then the effect is also purple. And then it'll change based on what I'm looking at. And so is that purple, that texture on the ground there. That's purple. All right, that is what I have for you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Or if you feel free to shoot me anything. Um, I'm happy to answer. I'll do my best. I don't check super often. But when I do, I'll definitely be sure to uh, try to get back to you. Uh, thank you very much.